And a look behind the curtain here. Final preparations for the challenge ahead. Hoping to come out of the gates strong. And you've got it on 2K Sports for Wednesday night action in the NBA. Hi everyone, this is Kevin Harlan and joining us tonight, Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke. And reporting from the sidelines, our very own David Aldridge. Hey Dave. Well Kevin, Devin Booker continues to elevate his play every year. He said, it's just putting in hard work. I take this game very seriously. I love the game of basketball. I don't count myself out. No matter what the score is, who we're playing, I'm going full tilt. Kevin, back to you. A special talent indeed. David, thank you. Now, the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. In the forward spots, it's Middleton and Giannis. Holiday out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Lopez in at the center. And for Phoenix, Booker and Bridges are the wings. Jay Crowder out there with DeAndre Ayton. And it's Paul in at the point guard position. Greg, we have a league of many great playmakers, don't we? Oh, there's no doubt about it. Le LeBron James is obvious. You know, he played point guard technically for the first time last season, but he's always been a floor general. You, you look at a young man like Ja Morant, and he's been on the attack since day one when he hit the league. And there's so many more of those guys that are having an impact, understanding the value of that lead guard position. It is fun to watch. It is so fun to watch. I agree. Now here's Booker. Lock at six. Second chance shot. Here's Eaton, and it's sent back by Lopez. Just superb timing. Lopez stretches out beautifully to send that back. And Hatatakumbo gets it to go. First points of the night, and you know this is going to be a battle of matchups. What's going to be fascinating to watch is which matchups are they willing to go exploit. And here's Holiday. Out of the combo, setting the pick for Holiday. And the shot goes in. A, a really smart player. Holiday can find the spaces inside and exploit them for points. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Back to Paul. Six to shoot. With the drive, and the wide-open shot from Crowder. Phoenix, no good that time either. Well, the defense clearly was not interested in guarding him from downtown. They're very fortunate he missed. Holiday finds DiVincenzo. The Bucks working the ball around. To the inside, and Giannis throws it down. Savvy play from Holiday. Quick thinking helps him get the ball to the wide-open man. Aiton in the high post. Passes to Bridges. And he drives in. Lopez with the block. And that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will retain possession. Bucks have gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. Middleton up top. Over in the corner, onto to Kumbo. With the fadeaway. Phoenix grabs the miss. Paul looking around. Now the pass to Crowder. Misses and the dry spell continues. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Outside Holiday. 
Pass to Middleton. Six on the shot clock. Shoots over Bridges. Middleton can't get it to go. Well, certainly not the best defensive effort, but this guy can't make them pay for their laziness. Pass to Booker. Launches it. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. Well, that's the bread, the butter, the main course. Booker's move and the catch and shoot money. Middleton outside. Lopez a screen on Bridges. Middleton the pass to Lopez. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Suns trail by three. Booker outside. Back to Bridges. Outside Crowder. Here's Booker. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Booker's got five now. What tremendous instincts as a scorer for Devin Booker. Get in that mid-range game, sir. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Chris Middleton. That's his first foul. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. Phoenix is gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Paul passes to Crowder. Bridges a screen on Giannis. Crowder finds Paul. Fader on the way. And that one hits back iron. Milwaukee in the lead. DiVincenzo passes to Holiday. Back to DiVincenzo. Middleton outside. It's Giannis with the drive. And Antetokounmpo slams it in. In the long strides of Antetokounmpo, once he gets downhill, there is almost no stopping. Now here's Paul. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. No good from Booker. It's Antetokounmpo on the wing. And so it's Crowder with it. He'll bring it up for Phoenix. It's a three-point game. Paul against Antetokounmpo. The drive by Paul. And, and a lot of attention on Antetokounmpo's offense, but don't sleep on the D. He, he can defend every part of the court and does it with intensity. Here's Middleton following the basket by DeAndre Ayton. Antetokounmpo setting the pick for Middleton. Nice concentration to hit the double clutch layup maintained his concentration beautifully as he double clutched and laid it in against some tight D. It's Crowder on the wing. Passes it to Booker. From the arc. Rebounded by the Bucks. And so onto DeCumbo looking over it. On the wing, Di Vincenzo. Giannis kicks to Di Vincenzo. Back to Giannis. From deep three-point range. No good that time. Now the Suns take it the other way. Inside Crowder. Kicks it out to Booker. Over to the left wing. Giannis against Crowder. And the rejection by Adetokounmpo. Now Middleton. Good on the bucket. Now it's a five-point Milwaukee lead. And that was a big-time finish. Middleton with the strength now to get hit and still complete the play. Crowder the pass to Bridges. Back to Crowder. For three, Booker, there's his third field goal, and now he's made half of his six shots. Now this guy has such a versatile offensive skill set. Devin Booker is a threat once he steps across the half-court line. Even Genzo against Booker. And there's a whistle. That goes on Mikel Bridges. That's his first foul. Johnson, he's checked in for the Suns. Cameron Payne comes in for Chris Paul. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. Forbes checked in. I see you, I see you, 
Here's Holiday. There's the lob. That's Bakumbo. A, a shifty player who really thrives on making the right play. Holiday sure runs a smooth pick and roll. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. You look at Enetokounmpo really making a difference here. And he has absolutely worn them out in the paint. They, they need to come up with a plan to limit his touches in the interior. Sharch has checked in for Mikael Bridges. And Milwaukee also making a switch. Abby Portis has checked in for Lopez. Sharch outside. Back to Payne. And the pass to Ayton. It's good. It's his second basket. He's shooting two for four. Well, you want to see DeAndre Ayton seek out the contact on the interior. Boy, he's a big-time talent. Out left to the wing. Here is Forbes. Middleton lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Middleton's got six. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. Payne with it, on the wing, Booker. Now here's Payne. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Holiday, and the Suns tack on two more. Bucks have gone eight of 14 from the field in the first quarter. Pass to Forbes. Middleton with it. Here's the screen from outside the arc. That's no good, and he's three for five. And so it's Payne with it. He'll bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. Trailing by two. They grab their own miss. Johnson, the pass to Ayton. Back to Johnson. Some nice ball movement here by the Suns. Just five on the clock. Another three for Phoenix. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Milwaukee's gone 0-4 from three-point land to start out. Looking cold from outside. And to Takumbo. And onto Takumbo slams it in. And how about the initiative there from onto Takumbo? Excellent at seeing lanes to the basket and then just taking advantage. Now here's Payne. He has five. Pass to Booker. And for Milwaukee, they're shooting 56% in this first quarter. An outstanding start for this offense. Here's onto Takumbo. Some solid defense from Ayton. Phoenix has gone 3-7 from three-point range in the first quarter. Booker the pass to Payne. Ayton in the high post. Now the feed to Booker. Got a piece of it. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Forbes dishes to Giannis. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. 12 points for Giannis. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. Payne finds Booker. 
he is just not taking smart shots out there. A pattern he has fallen into tonight. A shot by Holiday. Nobody around. A three-pointer off the mark. And here's Payne. Johnson outside. Passes it to Shorich. On the wing, Booker. And no good. Good D by Holiday. Giannis outside. Count it. Giannis has got 14 points for the game. Oh, they own the interior right now. Ten straight points coming from inside. The pass to Booker. Trying to get something going. Rebounded by the Bucks. And I'll tell you, they're going to need more from this guy if they're going to cut into this deficit. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. The basket counts and one. They'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. The Bucs shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. Yeah, last year, collectively, only 74% from the line. throw no good for Giannis and really the, the ceiling for Antetokounmpo is limitless I mean he has the potential to be a Hall of Famer one day and I love the way he uses his size there to make sure he gets that boot. he oh! beat the buzzer <laughs> delivery at the buzzer that is beautifully done oh that's a miracle are, are you kidding me Listen, under duress of the end of the period, you just throw it up and hope. And so it's Milwaukee going into the break with a 10-point lead. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. And we'll be right back after this. We recently caught up with Drew Holiday, who talked about some trying times. Being able to go through adversity and come out stronger. Um, I think that there was a lot of pressure put on our team um, from outside. And to be able to withstand that, to be able to still go out there and play every day. And Greg, you feel like that pressure never really got to Holiday. Uh, one of the toughest guards in the league, mentally and physically. He's a machine that just keeps on coming, no matter the circumstances. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Bucks. They pounded the ball inside in the first half, forcing the D to collapse, and that frees up the shooters going forward. Yeah, we've seen them burying their fair share of mid-range jumpers tonight, too. A good first half for them in that department. On the court for the Bucks, they've got P.J. Tucker, also Brooke Lopez out there, and it's Connaughton in at the three spot. And Dario Saric, the homie, as he was known in Philly, a Croatian finesse forward for this team. You know what I love about Dario is here's a big man who could space the floor with his shooting. He can balance that with an ability to make plays off the dribble. He's a really sneaky cutter and a very opportunistic rebounder. I mean, this is a big man who will contribute in a lot of different areas. Now, DiVincenzo. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Pass to Connaughton. Takes a three. Trills the three-pointer. Connaughton's got the lead up to 11 now for the Bucks. Yeah, that's two bombs in a row from long range. Pass to Craig. Second quarter, we're a little over a minute and a half in. Paul for three. A rebound by the Bucks. Lopez has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's DiVincenzo. Bridges with the board. 
That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. Charge finds Paul. Bridges with it. Passes it to Sharich. And the layup falls. And, and Kevin, they started the game shooting it so well. I, I'm surprised they haven't continued. They've got to get back to their strength. Lopez outside. The pass to DiVincenzo. Driving the lane. And he uses the glass on the layup. And the Bucks lead by 11. Boy, that's a backbreaker. Takes it right into the rim and extends their lead. You want to make sure your opponent knows they have absolutely zero chance of a comeback. And nice finish by him. Charge a screen on DiVincenzo. Bucks leading by 11. Pass to Lopez. Back to Forbes. Beyond the arc. A shot missing. And Phoenix the other way now. Charge passes to Paul. Some nice ball movement here by the Suns. With three, Booker. The rebound by Brooke Lopez. Lopez has got his fifth rebound in this one. He has that confidence rolling, hitting two threes in the first, but he hasn't had one since. Tucker the pass to DiVincenzo. From deep. Bridges with the board. Suns trail by 11. To the left wing. Pass to Craig. And here's Booker from the arc. Connects from three-point range. Booker's got it back down to a single-digit deficit for the Suns. And Forbes kicks to Lopez. Now, here's Tucker. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Passes it to Forbes. Hands it from downtown. And the Bucks lead by 11. And guys getting into a nice groove here. Starting to feel it. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. So for the Suns, Aiton, he's checked in for Sharich, and it's Crowder in for Torrey Craig. The box also changing it up. Bobby Portis comes in for P.J. Tucker, and it's Drew Holiday in for Bryn Forbes. Greg, if you go step in a time machine, what would you like and dislike about playing in this here at this time? Well, like, no doubt about the tempo and the spacing. Uh, I, I think that more than anything allows for the true skill and artistry of the game to be on display uh i probably wouldn't want to get switched onto mb down low <laughs> that that wouldn't i would probably dislike that and let it be known 
vociferously. But, but, I, but I always pictured you as being fearless, like you would never turn down that kind of challenge. I wouldn't turn it down publicly. <laughs> Gets a hand on it, and Aiton stays with it. Aiton's got four points now in the quarter. What a fantastic offensive rebounder. Aiton's so good at using his physical advantages. He takes it in, and count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. What a play there. The hoop plus the harm. The Bucks have shot just one free throw, missing that one earlier. On the free throw, no good. And so Aiton will bring it up for the Suns. Nine-point game. Back to Booker. Crowder sets a screen for Booker. And the shot goes down. Kick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Lopez kicks to Portis. Holiday looking for an opening. Lopez a screen on Paul. And Holiday, here we go, lays it up off the glass. And the Bucks lead by nine. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. Aiton, the pass to Crowder. Out to the wing. Booker outside. Portis against Crowder. And it goes down two points. Well, Jake Crowder has developed into a very reliable mid-range shooter. You don't want to let him get comfortable. Outside Holiday. There's the pass to Portis. Pass to Connaughton. Three-pointer. Phoenix grabs the miss. Oh, Aiton in position. Doesn't go for him. And he saw the play develop, but the pass just wasn't there. It was a really good thought for sure, but the lob has got to be better than that. Lopez passes to Holiday. Pass to Portis. Shoots over Crowder. Portis can't get it to go. Suns trail by seven. And here is Bridges. And there's the drive. That will not drop. Still looking for his groove. He's one of six so far from the floor. What a brutal night for this guy. And it is having a ripple effect throughout the team. This is tough. Back to Portis. Lopez passes to Portis. Paul against Holland. From deep three-point range. Booker pulls it in. Phoenix has gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Passes to Bridges. Back to Booker. To the paint. Here's Aiton. Good. A nice assist from Booker. Aiton's got 10 points. And right there you see Devin Booker's feel for the game. This guy knows exactly when to give it up. And Holiday kicks to Connington. Outside Holiday. Bucks passing it around. Back to Lopez. Holiday the pass to Lopez. And stolen by Booker. Al Paul. He's still scoreless so far in this one. No good from Booker. Here's Holiday. To the left side wing. Lopez finds Holiday. Back to Connaughton. 
Clock at six. To end the drought. He can't get that one. And Phoenix the other way now. Booker, right side. There's the triple. Another three for Phoenix. And that makes it two three-pointers in the quarter so far and four for the game. So for the Suns, Johnson comes in for Bridges and Cameron Payne subbed in for Paul. Giannis, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Chris Middleton comes in for Pat Connaughton. Greg is a young player. One of your mentors was Patrick Ewing. How valuable was that to have that kind of guy uh, tutoring you, mentoring you as you were just getting in the NBA? I tell you, he was the consummate professional and, and really an incredible leader by example. This guy spent infinite amount of hours in the gym in the offseason honing his craft. First on the floor, last to leave it throughout his professional career. And that's something he had in common with all the truly greats who've ever played the game. The drive by Booker. The shot, no good. Bucks leading by four. DiVincenzo with it. Shoots over Crowder. Offensive rebound. Miss number six for him. He's made two of his eight attempts. He hits Payne with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Suns. And there's the pass to Booker. If a floater, and the layup is up and in. Booker's got 18 points. Well, they're not behind because of this guy. He is putting on a tremendous run. Middleton left side. Headshot off. Johnson with some nice D. Pass to Booker. Kicks it to Crowder. Lobbed up there for Booker. Off his foot. And it's whistled a kick. And some changes here for the Bucks. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Bobby Ports. And it's Bryn Forbes in for Dante DiVincenzo. to Johnson. I mean, really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Milwaukee in the lead. And Forbes kicks to Holiday. We've got 33 seconds left to play here in the half. Payne looking around. Pass to Johnson. Now the pass to Booker. Just five to shoot. It's good. This game is all even. Booker's got 20 points. Well, he can do this now. Booker is not just a spot-up shooter. Very good with the ball in his hands. And to Dukumbo. 
Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there. Sure. Now here's Booker. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Bucks lead by two. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Kevin, thanks. Coach, you guys have been able to limit their scoring. How have you done that? Well, I think our activity, hopefully, in the pick and rolls is making it uh, difficult on them, contesting every shot, uh, denying just our activity in general. High hands and quick feet. Thanks, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. It was a big-time first quarter for Giannis Antetokounmpo. He had 23 points, two block shots, and five rebounds. Kenny, your thoughts on the Bucks' first half? Well, it's pretty clear that they want the offense to run through the paint, and it's been a good game plan. When they've got the ball in tight, the points have been coming, and they've been coming frequently. And until the D proves that they can stop it, I'd say keep working in the paint. And over to Shaq. What did you think about Phoenix? Well, those second-chance points are huge, and they only came because of their effort. Their work on the offensive glass is what's keeping them in the game. They definitely should try to continue to stay tough on the glass. It's been key so far. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final horn. Oh, buzzer. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. You look at Anadokounmpo, and this game has been everywhere. Yeah, he's been nothing short of a wall at the rim so far in this one, single-handedly providing great rim protection. If he is in the area, he's going to challenge your shot. He's going to block it, alter it. He's going to have an impact. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. And for Milwaukee, they're shooting straight 49% from the field. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. On Phoenix, look at who they've got on the floor. Hooker and Bridges are the wings. Ayton is out there with Jake Crump. And it's Paul in at the point. You want to be an NBA point? Take notes on Holiday running that pick and roll. Sometimes taking it yourself is the best option. Booker finds eight. Here's Bridges. Shoots the three. The offensive rebound. And it's Aiton missing. It's all about the defense right there. Without that level of activity, he probably scores it. On the wing, Holiday. He has six. Here's Lopez. Paul grabs the board. Suns trail by four. Takes it inside. Second shot opportunity. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. I'll tell you, this guy already a double-double threat nightly. And DeAndre Ayton's ceiling is still high. Now he's got to go ahead and reach those expectations by putting in the work. And he knocks down the first one. Both shots good from the strike. And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. Here's Giannis. Oh, yes. goodness. 
and we talk about Antetokounmpo's all-around skills, and tonight it's been about the scoring. He's put this offense on his back. Aiton finds Crowder. Pass to Booker, launches it, and there's the call on DeAndre Aiton. That's his first foul. Milwaukee leading by four. Here's Antetokounmpo and the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. So strong. Giannis has really added some bulk since entering the league. Helps him absorb the contact. Ball outside. Here's Bridges. Can't hit from 12. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. He is trying to shoot his way out of it, and it might be better for him to pass the basketball at this point. And so Booker will bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. They trail by six. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. You know, crafty, that seems to be the word most applied to Booker. Able to get the defense to overreact. The Suns have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. And one of the highlights last year for this group was the fact that they were so efficient from the charity strike. That's a huge factor. And he makes the first. Sometimes picking after number 10 is just fine. The 13th pick in 2016, Devin Booker, one of the brightest young guards in the NBA today. Both free throws good from Booker. You want to contest this guy's shot, but you absolutely don't want to send him to the line. He will make you pay. Middleton on the wing. The Bucks working the ball around. On the wing, Di Vincenzo. Looks for Holiday, gets it to him. It doesn't go for him. Some solid D from Paul. Crowder feeling it out a bit. Low block shot. Holiday with the block. An aggressive defender who pressures ball handlers. Nobody should be surprised to see Holiday sending shots away. Lopez outside. Giannis inside. He's guarded by Booker. Man, with that skill set at 6'11", Giannis might be the toughest guard in the league. And uh, he's just had one attempt at the line early. throw good Giannis all oh, three throws good from out Suns trail by six. Paul dishes to Aiton. Back to Paul. It's Crowder on the wing. He kicks to Paul. Shot clock at six. Back to Crowder. But Trey. He's off on that one. Now the Bucks take it the other way. They've led by as many as 11 points. You know, we've seen him just tear after the rebounds tonight. No fear. You have to love that effort. That's it, and the Milwaukee lead is cut down now to just four in the basket from Booker. I tell you what, it's, it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. Holiday, the pass to Lopez. Back to Holiday. 
Middleton looking it over. And stolen by Eaton. And here is Paul. No points in the game yet for him. Left side, Crowder. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And now, just a two-point Bucks lead. Well, you love to see Crowder active from inside. All it takes is good positioning, and he's golden. DiVincenzo kicks to Lopez. Middleton outside. Pass to on to the Kumbo. Drives to the hoop. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. And they really all have confidence in Antetokounmpo to run that set. That they're willing to put every aspect of their offense in his hands. Paul passes to Crowder. Over Lopez. Lopez with the block. Now Giannis. He's got 31. Passes to Lopez. Middleton for three, bangs home the trifecta. Now it's a seven-point Bucks lead. And this is what Middleton does, hit trades. He's one of the best in the league at helping his team space the floor. Outside Crowder. Ayton in the high post. Lopez is there, the pass to Crowder. Here's Bridges. Let's it go from deep. And the rebound goes to Lopez. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Giannis kicks to Holland. Back to Giannis. From deep. And it's Lopez. That time on the assist from Adetokounmpo. And the Bucks lead by 10. Phoenix has gotten off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4. Paul passes to Booker. Back to Paul. They need this. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's on Brooke Lopez. When Chris Paul gets into the teeth of the defense, make no mistake, this guy's in attack mode because he wants to go to the foul line. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Bucks. They've been penetrating with a certain amount of ease, guys, just as much in this half as the first. And they've consistently drilled that mid-range jumper as well, and that's really opened things up for them. That free throw, no good. I am very confident that Chris Paul is a future Hall of Famer, not only accomplished between the lines for well over a decade, both offensively and defensively, but years and years of service for the good of the game. Here's what Phoenix has got going on right now. Charge checked in for Aiton. Johnson comes in for Jay Crowder, and it's Payne in for Booker. And he sinks the second. Here is Forbes. Pass to Antetokounmpo, back to Forbes. From outside, off the mark. And it's Paul with the ball for Phoenix. Nine-point game. Down low, Johnson. It's deflected, and he gets it back. Kicks to paint. Pass to Paul. Six to shoot. He takes it in. And again, it's the Suns missing. He's so frustrated. Hasn't had a make-all game. It's making it very difficult for them to find any success. Forbes can't get it to go. You can see he just rushed that a little bit. Lost the focus, I think. Paul with the ball. For the three. Kumbo grabs the miss. Andre de Kumbo's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Here is Forbes. He feeds it to Giannis. From seven, that one falls. Andre de Kumbo's got the lead up to 11 now for the Bucks. 
And, and I really marvel at the touch of Antetokounmpo for his size and physique. That's incredible. The Bucks making a switch here. Holiday's checked in. And no doubt, Coach wants them to shore up their interior defense. I think right now they're giving up way too many easy looks. That is a recipe for disaster. Paul outside. Softly drops in the floater. Uh, Chris Paul gets to that floater game at his size. So important to have in your arsenal. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. We know that for years the NBA has thought about a postseason play-in tournament to get more teams and fans involved. Last year's pandemic stoppage basically necessitated its implementation. For the NBA, the disruption of business as usual enabled innovation and risk-taking. I don't want to be too hoity-toity, but it was Albert Einstein who once said, in the midst of every crisis lies great opportunity. Guys, back to you. You're right. Thank you, David. Boy, this is an art Chris Paul mastered a long time ago, scoring in the paint against the tightest defense. Middleton outside. Here's on to Takumbo. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. 35 points for Giannis. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. It's Sharich, top of the key. There's the dish to Bridges. Payne with it. Picked up by Portis. Payne, shot is good. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. It's Giannis with the drive. Out of bounds, it'll go to the Suns. Aiton, he's checked in for the Suns. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for the Bucks. Suns trail by nine. Payne finds Bridges. Aiton against out of the Kumbo. Aiton in the high post. 12 points for him. Middleton against Bridges. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that. He has been putrid here this quarter. Aiton, the pass to Payne. Over to the wing. Bridges kicks to Paul. Sinks the triple. Paul's got eight. You love that this guy doesn't get down on himself after a rough first half. Keep your composure and keep grinding. Passes it to Tucker. So the wing on the left. Bucks passing it around. Here's Holiday. Banked in off the glass. Ten points for him. Whoa, sizzling from the field this half, and that's after a shaky start. 
Now here's Payne. 54 seconds left to play in the third. And that's out of bounds. Phoenix will retain possession. And he made the right read on that play, but just couldn't secure the steal. Yeah, the anticipation was there. The hustle was there. Very close to picking that one. Dante DiVincenzo. He's checked in for Brent Forbes. Paul against DiVincenzo. The 11-footer. Got a hand on it. And it's out of bounds. Well, they say it was last touched by DiVincenzo. Pocket two. A new 14 for the Sun. Here's Paul. Goes up again. Walked again. We've got a nine second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Giannis passes to Holiday. Back to Giannis. The pass to DiVincenzo. Pass to Giannis. And they double up Giannis. Over Aiton. DiVincenzo can't hit it. And here is Paul. Over Middleton. He knocks it down, but wait a minute. The officials are getting together. They may want to review this one. And not so fast. The officials are going to check that shot again and make sure they got it right before we go to the fourth. And a chance here to, to just double check the ruling on the floor. I wasn't sure if he got it off in time or not. So I, I appreciate the second look as well. And they're keeping the call as is. It was close, but he had not released it before the clock had expired. Yeah, still better safe than sorry. I think they did the right thing to take another look at it. And if it's so close that you can't tell by the naked eye, might as well go to the slow-mo. The third quarter comes to a close. The Bucks on top, leading by eight. And coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter gets underway. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. And so it's Payne with it. He'll bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. Trailing here by eight. And Milwaukee looking at who they've got. DiVincenzo on the wing. He's paired with Middleton. E.J. Tucker is out there with Brooke Lopez. And it's Holiday in at the point guard. Picks it out to Booker. Another shot, and it's good on the layup. Booker's got 26 points. Uh, just tremendous concentration by Booker. Defense tries to bully him, but he stays completely locked and loaded. Johnson left side. The three. Got a piece of it. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Here's Holiday driving to the basket. And, and Holiday's nimbleness gets him to the hoop on that one. His athletic ability is off the charts. On the wing, Johnson. And the slam dunk by Johnson. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with a sledgehammer. Boy, that's a play you just practice time and time again, and that's the result of the work put in. Lopez a screen. Holiday attacking, and again the turnover by the Bucks. And Phoenix making a change here. Paul's checked in. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. Booker with the screen for Paul. 
From deep, shot clock at six. Rebound, Milwaukee. And since halftime, he has just been ice cold. Just can't seem to get anything to go his way. On the wing, Holiday. The Bucks working the ball around. Pass to Middleton. He kicks to Holiday. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. His production has been unbelievable. A testament to how much he cares about his craft. Back to Johnson. From the arc. Good. And a nice assist from Booker. Confident and composed on the three-point shot at a critical juncture. Outside Holiday. Kicks it to Tucker. Passes it to DiVincenzo. Fires the three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And the Bucks lead by six. Yeah, how about the percentage they're shooting from beyond the arc here in the second half? Ayton finds Crowder. The pass to Booker from past the arc. Milwaukee with the rebound. Middleton's got five rebounds tonight. In the first half, he was on fire from range, but he hasn't knocked one down since. Back to Lopez. He dishes it to Middleton. That's tipped. Paul with the steal. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Outside Crowder. Three-pointer. That's in, and the Milwaukee lead is cut down now to just three in the bucket from Ayton. Well, true to form in today's NBA, as a big man, DeAndre Ayton has face-up ability, and that's critical. Pass to Tucker. Now here's Middleton. A floater. Johnson with the defensive effort. The Suns have gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting an even 50% from the field. It's Crowder on the wing, guarded by Tucker. Ayton sets the pick for Booker. Bucks leading by three. And Holiday kicks to Lopez. Back to Holiday. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Chris Paul picks up that one. It definitely has the respect of the locker room. Holiday is someone that players enjoy playing with. And free throw good from Holiday. one falls so he hits both of them Suns trail by five Paul outside over Holiday another one falls for Phoenix you know you have to like that he's still getting quality touches and delivering now after getting blanked in the first half Holiday against Paul Lopez kicks to Holiday. Middleton outside. Just five on the clock. They set the screen. Even Shenzo gets the bucket. You simply must play better defense than that. This guy is too good from distance. And so it's Paul bringing it up for Phoenix. Six-point game. On the wing, Booker fires for three. Nailed from three-point land. Booker's got nine points here in the second half. Milwaukee's gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. Paul against Holiday. 
Lopez outside. Let's the three fly. Hooker pulls it in. The Suns have gone 6 of 11 since the start of the fourth quarter. Driving in. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Now just a one-point Bucks lead. Boy, it seems like every shot he puts up, it's going in. This guy is hot. Hot. Holiday, the pass to Lopez. DiVincenzo gets to Middleton. Holiday with it. And it's Johnson picking him up. And Holiday throws it down. Big hops from the backcourt. <laughs> oh, absolutely. And maybe just what they need to get this game, GA, going in their direction. Boy, as tight as this one is, that's a statement play saying, hey, listen, we're not here to back down from you guys. Inside, here's Paul. That shot off the mark. The Bucks go the other way with it. Holiday dishes to Lopez. Outside Holiday. Lopez against Paul. Lopez, no luck. I'll tell you, even though he's not playing his best basketball, the team has played well and picked it up. I love it. Back to Paul. Down low, here's Booker. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Paul's got three assists tonight. Uh, Devin Booker has got a 70-point game in his history. He is cooking. You might want to check him tonight. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. You know, couldn't agree more with this timeout. There are far too many turnovers to get any kind of offensive rhythm. You're just trying to mix things up here. And now we present our New Balance player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game. And it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. Bridges, he's checked in for Johnson. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, guys, I was able to listen to what Mike Boldenholzer told his team during that timeout. We told him, hey, this game is there for you, but we got to go get it. 50-50 balls, getting to the basket. We have to give it all right now. Kevin? Thank you, David. It's out of the Kumbo on the wing. Pass to Lopez. The Bucks working the ball around. De Vincenzo kicks to Lopez. This is it to Giannis. Just four to shoot. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. Here's Holiday, and it's slammed in by Holiday. In an incredible display of awareness there. Giannis, a great read on the defensive end and understands this team wants to run. Now the pass to Booker. Out to the right wing. Pass to Crowder. Pass to Booker to tie it up. Milwaukee with the rebound. Holiday's got six rebounds now in the game. Passes to DiVincenzo. 
Here's Holiday. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Lopez outside. Giannis sets a screen for Lopez. Offline with his three. Boy, he cannot get anything to fall, but the teammates, boy, have they delivered. Left side, Crowder. And there's the foul on Jay Crowder. That's his first foul. Yeah, they've gotten careless, Kevin, no doubt about it, with their turnovers in the second half. Bucks leading by three. Outside Holiday. DiVincenzo passes Giannis. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's going to be on Jay Crowder. Good from out of the Kumbo. Both free throws good from out of the Kumbo. And they're doing a better job of working themselves to the line here in the second half. Paul passes to Aiton. On the wing, Booker. No pass against Aiton. Back to Booker. Over in the corner, Paul. Good. A nice assist from Booker. Booker's got three assists in the game. After an ice-cold start to this game, he is pouring it on here in the second half. Under the Kumbo, kicks to Middleton. Rebound by the Suns. Bridges has got five rebounds tonight. Three-pointer, Crowder. DiVincenzo with the rebound. DiVincenzo's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Holiday with the three. Rebound by the Suns where you'll see him miss such an open look. Here's Booker. No good that time. And Milwaukee will come the other way. They've led by as many as 11 points. And the layup's good off the glass. Andre DeCumbo's got 39. And how about the effort? You did think a little contact would prevent Giannis from scoring, did you? And the shot is good. The box lead has been cut down now to just three in the basket from Devin Booker. A, a crucial breakdown defensively, and he was quick to make him pay. We call that execution getting the ball to the right guy where he can do some damage. And that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Well, when it's closing time, he's trying to lock the door. He's been going all night. Here's Booker. And the dunk by Booker. Well, whether it's a dunk or a jump shot, Booker's wide-ranging skills make him a consistent scoring threat. Andre Kumbo with the ball. Now guarded by Aiton. Out of this is to Booker. 55 seconds left in the fourth. Back to Crowder. He kicks it to Bridges. He gets it in there. And that one sends the bench into a frenzy. I'll tell you, these guys have worked so hard together. Everyone pulling in the same direction. Beautiful to watch. Bounce pass, Holiday. Here's onto Takumbo. Good! Man, Holiday puts a lot of pressure on the defense. Often it's with his scoring, but right there, making a play for someone else.
And it's the Suns with the ball. They trail by three. Seven second difference. Shot and game clock. But they'll get another chance. Wow, just getting all the luck right now, it seems. Good bounce. Booker, count it. And that shot brings them to within just one. Well, you love the lethal scoring ability off the dribble. Booker putting extraordinary pressure on the defense. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. Fifteen seconds left to play in the final quarter. And so they foul intentionally. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really want. He's got one more, though. That's good, going one of two from the line, and that will put them up by two. And the Suns call time here. They're trailing by two. There's 14 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Guys, your thoughts? And they've got plenty of time to get a basket. Well, they've got to be aggressive, guys, because the defense doesn't want to foul here. There's 14 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Now, Booker. Eight in a screen on DiVincenzo. And so it's the Bucks who come out on top here. They break the hearts of every fan in the building with a dramatic late victory. And Kevin, this is the kind of win you have to take a ton of pride in. I mean, they battled with everything they had and came through when the pressure was at its highest. And we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Thanks, Kevin. Giannis, you dominated the game offensively. What were you seeing out there? You know, I just want to thank my teammates that they put me in spot uh, to help me be successful. And we just played hard. I'm happy that we got the win. Hey, thanks for your time, man. Go be with your teammates. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you next time.
Thank you.